The controversial air braking system at the core of the Lac-Megantic train derailment disaster isn't as complicated as one might think. Michael Guy of the Toronto Railway Museum says there are fail-safes in place to prevent the air brakes from releasing, demonstrating this theory on a 1950s era train car. When power to the train is on and the air brakes are secured, there should be no way that the train can move. But if power to the engine is cut off, the air brakes can release their reservoir of compressed air and manual brakes would have to be secured to prevent the train from moving. If the brakes aren't secured, a potentially dangerous situation could unfold. The train could move if left unattended. This system was installed in 1950. Its common uh, connection with modern train systems is the fail-safe feature. If the train breaks apart, the brakes come on. Guy shows how the train can disconnect from one of its cars and the air brakes can release if the train is moving forward. If the fail-safes in place would still have a reservoir of compressed air in each car that would help keep them secured. The only way this brake system doesn't work is if there's insufficient compressed air in the individual cars and there's simply not enough force to put the brakes on. Mm -hmm. That rarely seems to happen. He stresses there have been many updates to the system since the 1950s, but the basic structure of the brake system is similar to those used today. Adam Miller, The Canadian Press, Toronto. Thank you.